man, if every single one of my clients was just like that guy, oh, my job would be so great. They do exactly what they're told. They sign up. They pay. They pay me what I'm worth. How can I just get more people like him? Well, in today's hot seat conversation with Ben from my mentorship, you're going to hear about exactly how to do just that. In fact, you're going to hear about my recommendation to Ben, which is to build the story of this one perfect client into a case study and promote that case study to attract more people exactly like him. I'm going to get right into it right here. I think that you'll enjoy this conversation with Ben, and I think that it'll really help you find more of the right clients. Enjoy. Ben, you are up, my friend. So, Ben, same thing. If you can quickly tell us who you are, who you serve, and uh, what are we talking about today? Hi, guys. I'm a personal trainer, soon to be gym owner out in New York City, and uh, I'm using OTA, as most of you, to get my online business thriving. Um, recently, working with Coach Alex, I've zoned in on helping busy men get shredded. And that's what the LinkedIn profile says. And that's the niche I am zoning in on. And I've been stuck at about 4K a month. And I would really like to get north of that 10K a month. And uh, a little less hands-on than I have been. Cool. So tell me what you've been doing. Uh, With the online stuff, pre-pandemic, I ran a, a kettlebell class in New York City. And a lot of those people are current clients. I have 18 online clients and probably 10 of them are former class takers and the rest are referrals or from Instagram. Got it. Do you know Jonathan, by the way? Do you guys know each other? No, not just, I thought the the NYC connection, but obviously it's a big city. 14th and 6th, new gym. Come check it out. I just was looking at your Instagram. I'm I'm at uh, complete also on 14th Street, literally across the street. Oh, you're right across the street. Okay, very cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you guys should definitely connect afterwards. That's cool. Okay, so what what fires you up? Is it is it these folks that you've met during your kettlebell classes that you love kind of working that way, kind of backwards from people that you knew in life? Do you like creating content? and trying to attract people through there what do you enjoy Um, i enjoy more probably the content and finding new client approach um i've sort of adapted and leaned in and i'm honing this online personality of um go 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 uh alex and i defined my online audience as sharks is what we call it and it's really that like Goldman Sachs, stockbroker, investment banker, up at 5 a.m., get after it till I can't breathe type person. Right. It's not how I work out, but it's how I perceive myself to work out, and I go <laughs> after those people. Right. And so those are those are your content. bread and butter, like corporate types, like New York City corporate types? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a good audience. Are they... I mean, I don't know that audience that well. Are they on Instagram? Are they are they are they yeah. searching for content? Are they kind of flipping through their phones like everybody else? Yeah, for sure. Especially um I'm thirty one, especially my age and younger. You know, we yeah. live online, so they're definitely there. Okay. So what's some tell me about one person that you worked with that you would say, like, man, if every single one of my clients was like him, this would be perfect. So online online specifically. It's definitely somebody who knows their way around the gym. It's so, not. I, I want to know who it is. Like, make up their name, but I want. I want one person. Okay. Can I use the real name? Yeah. Whatever. All right. Uh, a f- old friend of mine. His name is Brian Roder. He is an insurance broker. He's okay. thirty-one. He uh, used. He's worked out his whole life. He's done your typical bro splits back in high school, bodybuilding, because that's really all he knows. And um, he has since become privy through Instagram and other things like that to longevity training. And, uh, you know, he just got married. They got kids on the way. So he's highly interested in staying capable for his kid and, um, you know, just wants to be able to 
keep up this level of activity in 10 years from now when he can finally play with his kid. So he is kind of my perfect online audience because he knows his way around a gym. It's not so, I don't have to be so elementary with it. His yeah. questions are good. I often don't hear from him, which is the best type of client and they just log their workouts. Okay. And I mean, this, this is perfect. He's an insurance guy, 31, worked out his whole life, did bro splits, realized that bro splits are great when you're in your 20s. Uh, once your, mm -hmm. your sleep starts to falter and your body starts to not heal back as quick, maybe bro splits are not the best way to keep yourself moving. Uh, I think that's a story that every single guy in here started nodding their head at. <laughs> And, and he's into longevity training, which is definitely like the new hot thing now, especially with Peter Atiyah's book. And, and that just came yeah. out. And, um, and and with Huberman talking about how bad it is to cough or whatever he's on today. You that, know, that's another thing. Most all of my clients ask me everything about Huberman podcast. And I yeah. like Huberman, but they're, they're all up on that. I, I like him, but I also think that he's mastered the art of marketing fitness and health information, which is to make the minutia sound way more important and sciencey than it actually is, uh, which is basically the secret to marketing health and fitness information. Uh, there, there it is, everybody. So, I mean, you've been here since the beginning, since, since the conversation with Paul, it seems to me, you know, you're getting like, you're getting some interaction on your material. You're getting three, 400 likes, I mean, I'd have to dive deeper into it, but it seems like you're getting some good interaction onto your material. I wonder whether it makes sense to just become better at capturing leads and getting into conversations with it. Yeah. The idea that yeah. we spoke about with Paul a little bit earlier, the best converting PDF that I have is a case study. Um we produced a, a case study years back on somebody who opened up a gym and basically he opened up a gym and did like 200,000 in revenue before they even opened the doors. And it was, it was a super detailed case study. It's super powerful, but just the idea of it, Hey, here's a case study of somebody like you who did really well. Here's the secrets. I think it makes sense for you to put together a case study about Brian. Okay. And it's super I mean, it doesn't have to be that detailed. But the hook behind it is, hey, 31-year-old, you know, like almost in quotes, I'm 31, I've worked out my whole life. I'm 31, I've done bro splits my whole life. How should I train now? Question mark. Like I, that'd get me as a 37 year old to, to want to get that thing. And then when you're promoting it, you, you give a little bit more information about what you did. Hey, it's a high profile insurance salesman about to have kids wants to still look good, but also wants to be there for his family for a long time. Here's how his workouts have changed. His workouts have changed. Yeah, and I mean, you can, you can give a couple days of his training, and you can give an overview of his routine of how it actually comes together throughout the week. I wouldn't give the entire routine for like twelve weeks, but you mm -hmm. can be like, "Hey, here's one week of his training, and here's an overview of how twelve weeks breaks down." I mean, you already have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're already working with this guy, right? It's just repackaging it. Go on, go on Upwork and get it designed wow. as a PDF. And then, I mean, you can do the exact same thing where you tease that in the story. Show it. Say if anybody wants it, reply back and send me a DM that just says shark. Whatever term you mm -hmm. think is good. Doesn't matter what it is. And they respond back and it's the same thing. You send them to an email opt-in to get it. And you say, hey, what are you hoping to get out of this? 
you have a conversation with them. I mean, the exact same DM conversation. Cool. How long have you been training for? Oh, that's awesome, man. What are your goals now? Sweet. Anything hurt? All right, look. Sounds like it makes sense for us to get on the phone. I mean, just book them on a phone call. Sounds so easy. Well, it's a matter, it's a matter of capturing traffic. You know, a lot of people I find a good enough at generating traffic through social media, you know, whether you're creating like hundreds of thousands of impressions or whether you're just creating thousands, you don't need that many people to see it. Um, what matters is that you're very dialed in on who it's for and you have one or a few very simple offers. And then you just, you do what sales 101, curious, confident skepticism. Hey, I'm curious. What are you hoping to get out of this? You're here. Like, <laughs> clearly it's something. Um, how's that all sound? Good. Sounds, you know, not not groundbreaking, but just, like, logical. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's move on then. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. John, again, thanks for listening to that conversation. You know, it, it, one of the things that is really hard to do is to replicate success. And I just really love that idea of, hey, you had this great client. Let's just make a case study about them. Try to find more people like them, uh, you know, and, and speak as tightly to that exact person as we possibly can. And... Um, and so if you didn't know, that conversation was a hot seat on my mentorship. Every few weeks, what we do is we go deep uh, into into stories like this. And so if my mentorship is something that you might be interested in, if you're already training clients online and you want to scale, please on Instagram, go uh, go find me. I'm at It's Coach Goodman. Send me a DM that just says mentor. In the meantime, I wanted to recommend another episode for you to listen to right now. If you're looking for something to listen to, this is episode 27 I'm going to recommend to you. And it's called David Sells $5,000 Packages Without Social Media. In this episode, you hear a story about a trainer named David, obviously, who has figured out a way to never make a post on social media and go straight to where his clients are, obviously wealthy, affluent individuals. And he sells $5,000 packages at a time to them. And, um, and what he does is actually absurdly simple. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, if you're looking for another episode to listen to, episode 27, David sells $5,000 packages without social media. Go have a listen to that. Um, just scroll back in your podcast app at the Obvious Choice Podcast and enjoy.